people, they just, they wear short sleeve shirts even in the winter, like Chief Lopez, because he's tough. Uh huh? Good morning, Chief. Good morning. Uh, you know, uh, and a pleasure to have you here, because I know you're a busy guy lately. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I understand that uh, you're looking for a few good people. We have, a, we have at least one opening right now for a yep. police officer. We've uh, got a full uh, dispatching uh, staff. We just hired Earl Connor, uh, who was a longtime sugar loafer. Uh, he'd gone away for a little bit at Massachusetts, and uh, he wanted to come back to the good life, and they yeah. hired him, and a ski patroller and a uh, firefighter, so he fit right in, and he's doing a good job for us. Yeah. We've got a lot of people here, huh? Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of people here. Now, tell us a, a little bit. You must get a lot of questions. Or uh, What are the most popular questions that you can answer for people that they should know if they've never been here before? You know, everyone comes here to have a good time and get crazy. And What, what advice do you have? For well, park in a parking space. <laughs> That's park in a parking one. space. Yeah. Um, we do have some new uh, winter camping uh rules and we're going to be putting them up on the website uh, basically self-contained campers that are, aren't over a certain footage and i don't have that right off the top of my head mm -hmm. but no tag alongs you can't tow your trailer you, can, you basically can take up one parking space i see uh, with the camping mm -hmm. and you have to be able to move it for for plowing if you're here for a couple days and we get a snowstorm you you mm -hmm. got to be able to move the, the camper and stuff so that's one of the big changes we've got. Uh, we are putting campers in E, but right now E is uh, a little clogged up. So uh, we're got some growing pains with that, with the new rules. Yeah. But we should be we should be right on top of that in short order. The the crews have been doing a great job on that uh, West Mount project. Yeah. But it's quite involved, and, and yeah. they've had a lot of rain to fight, to struggle with. Uh, they did also. Yeah. Those uh, retention ponds are paying off. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they'll they'll have that cleared up, and they've done some work down in the parking lot too. But uh, that's a new rule, no tag-alongs after a certain um, uh, length of them? Or? Yeah, I, I can't remember, but basically your vehicle can't take out more than one space. So if you get those, like, uh, the Strider vans and stuff that a lot of people, are, they're popular right now for, for little campers, those are, those are good, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It gets much bigger than that and you take up more than one space, we're going to ask you, to, we're going to redirect you to another yeah. parking spot. Redirect you. Uh, uh, parking is a big issue up here, isn't it? It is. My philosophy is that, you know, a lot of, of well-to-do people and they all have their own parking spaces back where they live and they want their <laughs> own parking space up here. I, um, but I we do a good I... job. The, James does a great job with the parking and, yeah. uh, um, you know, and we have a lot of shuttle buses. So, and, and now with the ski in and ski out with the, with the E, F, and G, when it's that gonna gets great. going, it's going to be, it's going to alleviate a lot of that stuff. So. Yeah. But just, just baby steps. Just be polite if you're asked to move, and we'll try to be polite when we tell you to move, and we'll all get along and have fun and meet at the bag or <laughs> Mas Amigos or the Widowmaker. That's right. Be gracious, huh? <laughs> yeah. Be gracious. Now, because you, you don't wear a uniform, so you never know who you talk. Well, of course, now we know who you are. But, I mean, you know, you could be walking around. You're just I was average talk, Joe. <laughs> I was talking in the bag with somebody. We were talking about the new gambling with the DraftKings. Yeah. And, uh, a couple of people that I didn't know were, hey, uh, oh, do you have a bet for today? I said, no, I, I haven't, don't have a bet for today. I, I said, do you bet on DraftKings? He goes, no, my brother's a bookie. And I said, that nice to meet you. I'm the chief of police. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, no, it's in Massachusetts. It's in Massachusetts. <laughs> I know, right? So maybe I should give a fair, you know, we have my, I, I did have my coat over my patch. <laughs> well, you know, it's not, it's not easy to get arrested here in Sugarloaf, but it can happen, <laughs> you, you know, uh, be gracious. And uh, sometimes people get a little too crazy, but... You, know, you do a great job with reasoning with people. <laughs> Our guests are great. They're yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, the, one of the other questions is lost and found. Yeah. Um, we tend to get all the phones and credit cards that you leave at the bars or leave at the dinner houses. I'm familiar with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, feel free to stop by. A lot of times the, the lost and found will get to us after 4 o'clock when the lifts close. If, if a phone gets turned into a lifty, they'll bring it over when the lifts close. Uh, same thing. A lot of things go into uh, guest services, and they'll bring things over at 4 o'clock. So uh, always call us, stop by, check, because you, you'd be surprised how much stuff we give back. We, we get a lot of stuff back. <laughs> I call it the walk of shame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the morning, <laughs> yes, we have a few of those. <laughs> you come in and get your credit card. But it was a nicely filed in alphabetical order right there. Correct, for me. correct. Oh, I think we have something of yours. Well, yeah. I mean, you guys do a great job over there. Uh, tell us about your team that you do have. All right, so uh, I have a uh, Joe Corson. We just hired him about a year ago. He's just finishing up the academy. He'll be back. Um, 
He'll graduate December 15th, and I'm pretty sure I can weasel him into a shift on the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We might have to give him a couple of days off. He just went through 18 weeks of pretty arduous training. He's, yeah. he's actually uh, 20th uh, out of 60 in his class, so he's wow. doing pretty good. Uh, ben Gaudet, who's a, a, a favorite uh, of Sugar Loafers, uh, he's been around a while, left us for a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he chased Moody to Georgia, but he went down there, and now he's back, and he, he does a great job for me. And, uh, and then my other officer on the day shift is uh, Mike Yoda. He came from us from uh, South Carolina. Hmm. Uh, spent 14 years law enforcement down there and 14 years in the military. His family moved up to Maine, and he followed. And Rick and I were sitting there one day going, what are we going to do for this new officer position? <laughs> And a guy calls and says, hey, I'm looking to be in a police job. I'm like, can you be here at 2? We'll interview you. <laughs> and he's been here for a couple of years now. He does, a, he does a good job with us, and it's always fun to listen to him talk because he's originally from Buffalo, but he's got a southern accent now. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, and he thinks we all talk funny probably. Yeah, he does. Well, yeah. Uh, maybe we do. Maybe <laughs> well, we a just, little bit. Yeah, maybe just a little bit.